Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be jumping back on the Porsche 911. Right, in the last video, we got this corner sorted and this under section as well as inside here. We didn't get this panel on here, but we're gonna do that today. We also got offered up this inner sill section. We got the floor on and this offered up um, so it does fit nice. Now we have done a little bit of cutting just here, just an investigation panel. And that shows us that there's still a little bit of corrosion up here. So we may have to do something with this corner here, take this off so that we can get further up inside this panel. And with all this to clean, but inside there, apart from some surface rust, it is quite good. All this metal is good, all inside here is good. It's just this surface that we do need to sort out.
Right, so what we've got here is this, this edge here, this panel, it's really thin and corroded in places. So it is gonna go through. And on closer inspection, it doesn't give us a good edge here. The lucky thing is, is if when you look in here, this panel, there is a panel joint there. So this panel is actually joined to this lip. Now, I thought it might be on this panel, but if you look down here, if I can see that, there's also a panel joint. This panel actually goes, goes flat. So this edge is actually made with this panel. So it basically comes across here to here and comes outwards. And this panel is welded to it this side and this panel is welded to it this side. So because this is corroded, we thought it was actually on this panel because this one is. This one's one continuous panel. This one's not. This one's a panel that's welded on to this panel. So, so it's co so corroded, we're gonna have to take all this off and we'll for reform this lip when we make this panel. Now this section was way more rusty than we was expecting. So we had to take more of the rear quarter off just to access it. It's things like this that add up and turn a small job into a big job.
I decided after I'd bent this that I wanted to attack it a little bit different. So I bent it back. Now this is just a pneumatic plenishing hammer. We use it for just smoothing hammer marks out, but you can get the same result with just a hammer itself.
Thank you.